Hey everyone, my name is Sneel, and if I had an imaginary friend, it'd be a little blue horse with a pink unicorn horn and wings. Oh, that's very vivid. I like, I like, I like imaginary friends. Yeah, that's cool. Hey, can you be my friend? <laughs> <laughs> What's up everybody, my name is Yero, and like the sports industry and his name, I'm a bit of a mystery. Can I see. Can I ask questions about this mystery? <laughs> hey man, at your own risk. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to a new episode of Pop Culture Power Hour. So as you know, it's 2018, new year, a lot of cool new media, video, everything, new stuff coming at you. Right, but if you like what you saw last year, it's staying the same here, just more awesome. Everything's gonna be better, so if you know, we bring you our favorite things in the pop culture sphere. Yeah, and we know everybody's pretty busy, so we handcraft an hour worth of our favorite stuff just for you. Just for you. So, you ready to start? Yeah, let's do it. What I'm going to kick it off with a little bit of a yin yang thing I got going on. And Ooh. it's the newest Marvel TV show coming out in summer 2018, Cloak and Dagger. This is a new video that's going on about the first meeting of Tandy and Tyro. Now, one of them has light magic, one of them has darkness magic, and it's kind of cool to see. It's a very parallel thing, but it's a new show coming out in the summer. Yeah, I feel like you'd be the, the one with the dark power. Would you get the light one then? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so kicking off 2018, uh, everybody's doing like the whole like goals and, and stuff like that. For me, I believe it's all about habits. If you don't have the habits, it doesn't matter what you say, it ain't gonna happen. So there's actually this cool principle it's Kaizen, it's just Japanese philosophy, and this is cool uh, little seven minute video about how to actually go about developing these new habits for a better you. Kaizen to your too? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and a cool thing that I've noticed is if you're into balancing yourself and getting ready, you want to figure out what's happening to Wally West. He's so unbalanced, he's been here, he's been not, on the DC TV show, it's kind of been everywhere, but he finally found a home with the Legends of Tomorrow. Now, He's been in the flash and everyone's loved him, but you can't have two speed first doing the same thing. So right. in episode 13 on the uh, beginning of March, March 5th it is, he's coming as a series regular to Legends of Tomorrow. So now he has a home there to do speed stuff with time travelers, Ooh. alternate realities, magicians. It's going to be a great time to see Wally West now after March. All right, after March, book your calendars. Awesome. And uh, my last little uh, kind of new year, new you kind of thing, um, I've been really like obsessed with sleep. Because I notice some days like I'll sleep the same amount, but then I'll feel totally different the next morning. All right. So I notice it's about the quality of your sleep, not you just the quantity. And so there's a school real video about what you need to do, which is actually get more deep sleep, which is where a lot of people have been struggling. So, you know, if you're really thinking about getting your productivity up, get your deep sleep up. That's how you, have to, how do you fix it. Well, there's a lot of cool things that they go about in this video, but one of them is like, Doing things like making sure you prepare yourself for bed, priming yourself mm, for bed. Getting you know? ready. Yeah, you can't. You gotta get ready for everything. You gotta exactly. stretch before you work out. You gotta get ready to bed. Exactly. Prime. I understand. Prime. A lot of people are priming themselves for your award season, so they're trying to figure out what the best movie of 2017 is, but right. I think I might have the best one of 2018. Oh, and ahead of the game. Yeah, I'm already <laughs> thinking, and Paddington 2. Okay. That adorable bear from yeah. London. I love Paddington. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I've met him before in porcelain figure in England, so what? I might have my biases, but on Rotten Tomatoes, it has about 167 reviews, 167. all positive. So right now it's Ooh. at 100%, which is broke the record from Toy Story 2, what? not the best reviewed movie. So it pretty much guarantees like you might not love it, but there'll be something to enjoy for everyone. So it's a great oh. family movie and maybe the best of 2018. Awesome, and uh, that, that's great. And now I just want, since we're on this whole yin yang thing, I'm gonna go on something completely opposite, which has very, is like very polarizing. Because from what I've seen, uh, some people really love it, some people really hate it. It's the new Justin Timberlake video uh, for supplies, and um, I don't know. I thought I thought it was interesting. Uh, maybe I read too much into everything, but. I can see why you would really not like it. It's almost like they're trying to do too much. He's making some interesting choices. There's some interesting choices. But I don't know what people think. Uh, just, I, it's a good dialogue. Yeah. yeah. Let's start the conversation somewhere. That's what I'm saying, yeah. All right, my next one, if you want to keep the ball rolling, is going into Atlanta Season 2. Oh. There's a new teaser called Heavy Rotation, where kind of Donald Glover, he uh, gets up, and he falls right down. And he gets up, and he goes down. all around the city of Atlanta. You see the different cast members in the background, and it's kind of him spinning his way into the next season, and I'm so excited mm -hmm. to see what it's going to bring to this season. It's called the Robin season. Okay. Maybe it's about the birds, uh, stealing things. I'm hoping for birds, the birds and the bees. <laughs> Robin season is coming for me on March 1st. March. I'm excited. That's going to be that's gonna be really cool. It's going to be actually really fun. And um, I, as some of you might know, some of you might not know, I'm from the Gambia, Westside represent, and uh, there was a lot of like, 
like bad stuff that was going on there in the last couple of months. Uh, you know, we, we had a president who decided he wasn't going to leave. Right. And, uh, and things are kind of slowly getting back together. And this is a cool uh, video done by Joss Stones, who's like this like indie kind of alternative music, uh, hipster kind of girl who does a lot of stuff in Africa. And she's doing this cool music video with this guy, uh, Royal Messenger. Because, you, know, you, you know, you got to have names like that if you're from the Gambia. And uh, it's actually a really cool video. I really enjoyed it. Really moving. It's all about the positive message. People coming together after that. And there's like crocodiles chilling. So if you could chill with crocodiles, man, you could chill. You're good. He's a royal messenger. He's good, man. <laughs> and it's always good to have a little bit of truth mixed in with your fake reality of TV and stuff we love. So the assassination of Gianni Versace is season two of American Crime Story. And... I love the premiere of the show last week, but there's videos online by ABC News, about six, seven minutes of the actual story, the background of Andrew Cunanan, Gianni Versace, and kind of exploring more of the real version of this one, not the fictional right. one. So it's a good companion piece. So you watch a show, you watch an episode of this, kind of get the duality of the real versus the fake, and you might enjoy the show more, but you also want to know the reality of what actually happened. So I think it's interesting. Yeah, yeah, I, I really like that. Uh, you know, when when like you watch a movie, it's like really over dramatized, and then you go see like the story behind it and oh, what yeah. actually happened. It puts everything into perspective, but you get the emotions at the same time. You get the feelings yeah. of both. Yeah, things. that's that's really that's really cool. Um, and uh, my TV last TV thing is uh, is Billions coming out. You know, season uh, season, season three. three. And so you know, like kind of over dramatization and reality. There's a lot going on in the finance kind of business world right now. If you're up to date with that, so. I think there's going to be some interesting parallels in that That's as well. Some interesting stuff. Yeah. And if you're looking for a little bit of a fake with a load of real, the Cloverfield movies. There's a fine line between what is real and what is not, but mm -hmm. Cloverfield is great. Ten Cloverfield is even better. But now, on the anniversary of the first movie, which was two or three days ago, they released their website went down, but not like Cloverfield.com. Right. It's Taguto.jp. Oh. It's actually a company set in the <laughs> Cloverfield universe. <laughs> And so the website went down, which is like, oh, maybe they should have problems, something's happening. But uh -huh. people on Reddit, the people on Reddit, which is just Reddit like, people. The Reddit people, <laughs> hello. <laughs> they took down the image, they did all this stuff in science and magic and internet wushu, and they found out a secret message talking about okay. the release date of the third movie, which I think it's April 18th, wow. which is coming out pretty soon. And like, it's very hush hush. I don't think we'll find out a lot of this movie for now until like very close to release, but right. it's an exciting scene to see this movie that comes out. Like literally there's no marketing, no approach until like a month before, and then it's like, it's Six, here. Boom, right in your face. I'm excited for Cloverfield. All right, that, that's, yeah, and I, I didn't even know about this, but now I'm like, I'm in. <laughs> Tagruto.jp, check it out. <laughs> Tagruto, did I say all right? Yeah. Yes, nice, <laughs> <laughs> I like saying things. Um, cool, and uh, my last thing, kind of uh, on the sports note, there's a lot going on right now in the sports world, especially in the UFC, huge UFC fan. And uh, like today, the day we're actually recording, there's a huge bout going on in the heavyweight. But what I want to talk to you talk about was um, what's happening with Conor McGregor, who a lot became really famous, especially after that uh, Mayweather fight, which made him a lot of money. Oh, and uh, oh, yeah. I think he's been chilling since. So you know, people are wondering, like, what's gonna happen with that belt? Yo, like these guys are holding <laughs> on to two belts. So the president Dana White just came out saying we might have to strip him his title. So we'll see what that happens with that. I don't know. He's in a pretty bad place right now. Like, that's not good. Yeah, you could say that in a way. $100 million bad place. <laughs> that's a bad place. <laughs> yeah. But if you want to go to the good place, well, you can. Season 1 is now streaming right on Netflix, and Season 2 is on NBC. But if you can't, if you've already seen Juan or you're into the other one, well, the Season 1 gag reel is on YouTube. It's about 10 minutes of just solid gags. And I think the best part is... It's not just like Alex in the show, there's an intro and outro by Adam Scott's character from The Bad Place oh. kind of making the gag reel an actual part of the universe in the show, which is why I love it. Ah. For me, like, it's the Game of Thrones that no one has watched. Like, so much, <laughs> there's like plot, 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 and that's the whole point of the show. You can't okay. watch it. It's not episodic, it just goes through a really cool story, and it's the Game of Thrones that no one is watching. I just want to talk about it. Like, it's water cooler stuff to the I max. Tell. I tell. No one's watching it, and I just love the good place so much. I'll watch it, man. I'll watch it, man. And one other person can watch it, too. And one more person, and one more, and we got it. Got three. three. We got and we got three. Yeah. Cool. Anything else for the show, Yaro? Uh, no, that's it for that's it for uh, for this week. I think there's so much going on, but we want to obviously keep it uh, compact. That's what we do. We want to show you the best yeah. parts of the pop culture landscape. Exactly. Exactly. Have some fun. Cool. All right. If you want to find me online, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Sunil Mystery. Where uh, just different things are happening. All right. You still talking to all these celebrities and stuff? Uh, like I'm taking a break for a little break. bit, <laughs> but I've still been sharing all my cool stuff. And yeah. Little, little nuggets of fun stuff here. Nice. And there. Nice. Nice. I've been really. Uh, into Instagram. I haven't been posting, but I've just been like 
I, I literally found myself the other day like 20 minutes just scrolling on Instagram. I was like, damn, I've never <laughs> done that. But uh, you can find me on Instagram at Yerobasama. Also on Snapchat, Yersun Baba. There you go. And there if you, you like the video, make sure you press that like button right there. Uh, comment, let us know what you've been watching, what you've been enjoying, and if you check any stuff we recommended, how'd you like it? Yeah. Let us know, because you know, we give our stuff, but we also want to know what you're all up to. All right, that's it for this week. Power hour. Out.